At Black History Month, we have been highlighting those who have had a lasting impact on the community, on the region, on the country. Tonight, we're shining a spotlight on a man who has helped honor countless civil rights icons. 11 Alive's Naeem Abdullahi shares the Willie A. Watkins story. When the family of Coretta Scott King wanted to honor her with the celebration of life, they called Willie A. Watkins. When the family of C.T. Vivian found out the civil rights legend passed away, and on that same day, when the family of John Lewis found out the icon transitioned to his eternal home, Watkins picked up their calls. For me to have them to be uh, in the same space together with, uh, in my place, uh, it, it was honor. When the family of civil rights legend Joseph E. Lari needed the proper farewell, and when the family of Joseph E. Boone wanted a way to honor the icon, Watkins ushered in their memorable and elaborate homegoing services. That's where your blessing come from. The blessing comes from how do you bless others. Really, truly, you're not going to get a blessing unless you bless somebody else. His decades of serving the community started from a childhood passion. At just eight years old, he knew exactly what he wanted to do in his life. I always wanted to be an undertaker. An undertaker is someone who undertakes to do whatever necessary to be done to make sure that his family is taken care of. What was it like over the years building that brand? It was very hard. Those humble beginnings led to a successful Black-owned business with many locations, becoming synonymous with service, serving the community since 1982. One service that stands out is the service for the Honorable John Lewis. When we did John Lewis show, and they crossed over that Pedersen Bridge, it, it, it took me back and brought tears. And with all the legacies that you've helped to honor, what would you want your legacy to stand for in the test of time? that I did what God would have me to do uh, for his people. You can do anything you want to in life. You gotta learn two things, and that is, you gotta stay prayerful and you gotta stay focused. What a life in Atlanta he has led and is leading right now. Be sure to join us tomorrow for our special Black History Month, shaping our future as we look at Atlanta's present and future and the change that is going on right now. That's tomorrow at 7 p.m. It'll be right here on 11 Alive.